What is going on everyone, it is the Major King, and while the first weekend of the Infinite Warfare beta has now come to an end, do not be worried because the second one is going to be starting this Friday at 12pm CST time. This next set of news is awesome news for people on PS4 that did not have a code or did not pre-order Infinite Warfare and they didn't get to participate in the weekend one of the beta. Take a look on your screen right now. Call of Duty tweeted this morning saying only two hours left in the Infinite Warfare beta weekend one. But we only got good news. Infinity Ward is opening weekend two to all PS4 players. No pre-order needed. So this is awesome news guys. If you did not have a pre-order for Infinite Warfare and you didn't and you didn't have a code, you're gonna be able to play um, this Friday. Uh, unfortunately for Xbox One users, you will all not be able to play this beta. This only goes for PS4 users. But if you pre-ordered on Xbox One, um, you do get to play this weekend. Uh, so that is awesome but unfortunately not all xbox one users will be able to play this weekend um like ps4 users will be able to another thing that happened this morning is if you open the infinite warfare beta app and you uh logged in you basically got this pop-up that said we're sad to see you go blah 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 but on the bottom of the screen is where it gets most important it says in around 100 hours we'll be playing again with a few more with a few new surprises not that we are counting or anything like it see you next weekend so this is crazy guys it's basically just saying um there's going to be a lot more twists uh new surprises um as we knew there's only going to be three maps in this first weekend on the beta and they ended up putting more maps we even saw some classic guns in gun game this is crazy there could even be more classic guns coming um, that we haven't even got to try out yet so I'm really excited to see what they put in this second week of the beta another thing to state is that um, all progress transfers if you guys already haven't heard um, which means when you log back in and you already played the first weekend on the beta everything that you uh, progress in the first weekend will transfer to the second weekend so you don't have to start over that being said I think they will put um, the level cap a little higher so we can uh, level up more and get more stuff because a lot of people already hit level 30 and that's the level cap and it was super easy so they can't expect people um, to want to keep playing the beta if you're not going to be leveling up that's just my opinion and I think they're going to uh, raise the level cap a little bit higher hopefully we see some new modes maybe search and destroy I really want to play search and destroy in this game I think it would uh, fit this game and the movement system really good hoping to see some s and d uh be in the beta for the weekend too but guys that is really it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please drop a like don't forget to subscribe for more call of duty videos and guys have a fantastic day peace out Get this money, all I do is grind. Play shows and chill with honeys, all I do is shine. Score the world, ain't it funny? I'm one of a kind. All, 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 all.